go up to a next weight. We're still in the 1A's here, 171 pounds. We have Marengo, Iowa Valley's Kirk Rasheen wrestling Gilbertville Don Bosco's Todd Gray for the championship, 171 pounds. And that is Rasheen of Marengo, Iowa Valley on the left, Todd Gray on the right with a white top. Rasheen is undefeated. Rasheen was fourth last year at 171. Up there at 2A in the corner, you see Tony Ursland of Humboldt and Richie Ludwig of Dyersville Beckman. Now, these are undefeated wrestlers going for the title. And we'll keep an eye on that. And at AAA, Chad Niles of Charles City against Ernest Middleton of Waterloo Circle. West. Circle. And this, of course, Todd Gray. It's his first shot at the state championship, first shot at the state tournament. He's a senior, had never been to the state tournament before. He wrestles for one of my favorite coaches, Dan Mashick. Don Bosco, been there for 22 years. Done a great job. Oh, Rocky walked in right on him. And uh, this undefeated wrestler, Rasheen, shows you why he's 33 and zip with that takedown. Two to nothing. Rasheen, 171 pounder. That's Todd Gray. Rasheen let him up because he feels he can take him down. Coached by Joe Loftus. Been the coach at Iowa Valley for seven years. Coach Kurt, uh, Travis Pfizer in, uh, in high school who is now a ranked wrestler and an All-American for Iowa. Came, Travis came out of Iowa Valley. This is uh, this is the AAA match. We're looking at the pin up on the corner. The winner there was Ernest Middleton. How about that? Big win for Coach Don Huff. He had a great program there at West Waterloo and got a big win. That was at AAA. A fall for Middleton against Chad Niles. Now back to 1A here. You see Rasheen ahead 4-2. to two. He's dominated Todd Gray on his feet. And uh, the uh, two wrestlers are still on their feet out in the middle there with Rasheen dominating at this point. That's something like a, an ankle pick his last time out. I got a kick out of Brad Smith coming by. He's shaking hands with everybody all the way down the press table on, on his way by. I like a coach that gets excited. He always has. There's Joe Loftus there, the Iowa Valley coach, getting excited himself. He's coming on optional now. Here we go. His man is in the advantage position. He's going to start. Let his man go because he wants to wrestle on the feet, leading four to three. Circle, work in, man. Work in the middle. Referee Thomas Moore of Griswold takes him back out to the middle again. Single leg by Rasheen. He's driving hard. Does he have it? No, he doesn't. They're out of bounds. Whizzer in there by Todd Gray. Kept uh, Rasheen from getting that takedown. Rasheen was a... Uh, academic all-state wrestling team last year and you know that has its merits and a, a deal between the wrestling coaches association and the predicament they print an academic all-state team there's two points for Rajin and last year a coach from Princeton University saw that list and now two wrestlers from the state of Iowa are wrestling for Princeton on scholarship because of that list that, uh, of the all-academic state team and so that's just great Six to four now, with 50 seconds to go in the second period. The man in black there, Come on guys, let's Kirk Rushin, who has uh, made the difference work here, with his man, work, here. work on the feet. There's Don Mashik, the coach of Don Todd Gray. Kirk uh, Rushin with his superior work on the feet, leading by two. 171 pound class of 1A. The score, man. Level here. The smaller schools in the state. Going back, 
27 seconds left, second period. Going back to the Iowa Wrestling Offic Coaches and Officials Association, the list of an academic all state, working with the predicament, they do a lot of things for wrestling in Iowa. They're coaches and officials that are together to try to promote the sport and make it better. And working with the Board of Control of the High School Association, they were the reason for this new format that allowed all wrestlers to have two matches. Good job, Coaches One and red. Officials Association. One red. He's back A real red. tribute. A state and social wrestler. You have to have coaches and officials working together to make a sport go, and I don't think there's any better than the ones red, that are in red. Iowa. Red takes down. Get three. Two A's. Score is uh, four to one over there in favor of Ursland of Humboldt over Dyersville, Beckman's Richie Ludwig. Here's the score, seven to four, in favor of the man with the black uniform, Kirk Rushing. We're in the third period, just started. Did he get it? Well, that was a very nicely um, executed move, but they said they were out of bounds. There's Krieger, Tim Krieger, assistant coach at uh, Iowa State, sitting by Kevin Jackson, who's also world an assistant champion. coach, a world champion, looking toward the Olympics. Yeah, they're looking for prospects, you know, and there are a lot of major coaches who come to the Iowa State wrestling championships, as you know. We've talked about the underclassmen, too. I think they're going to try to have to get more seats for the number of college coaches that are going to come next year. Middle, middle. Right. Well, we've seen some underclassmen come of age here tonight who were surprises, I think, particularly in the lower weights. Seven to four in favor of Rasheen here. Trying to finish an undefeated season. See where that underhook, the Rasheen likes to underhook and then go for the heel pick. He scored on it one time. He has a minute and three to go. And the score is seven to four. Seven to four. It, it's four four on two A right now with 16 seconds left. The score is four to four between Tony Ursland from Humboldt and Richie Ludwig from Dyersville Beckman. Ludwig just got a takedown to make it four to four. Between two undefeated wrestlers. Another takedown for Rasheen. He's up nine to four with 40 seconds to go over Todd Gray. One green. Nine five after the escape. There's the 2A match. There's nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds left. They're going to overtime. They're going into sudden death. Well, let's see what happens here. We'll probably be able to see some of that because it's 23 seconds to go here with Rasheen leading nine to five. And looking real tough out there. He's there. He's, he gets the takedown, makes it 11-5. Machine has handled himself very well. One green. The 11 6. Gray tried to throw, but couldn't, uh, he had to do something. 13 to 6. And there it is. The winner one green from Marengo, Iowa Valley. And over on 2A, they're in sudden death, and they just won. Tony Ursland just took down Richie Ludwig again, to win it in overtime. We couldn't get to it in time. There was a single leg takedown over there. The winner is Kirk Rasheen here over Todd Gray of Gilbertville, Don Bosco in the 1A final. Championship for Rasheen. Well, we'll let's look, let's look. we do have a tape of that uh, Ursland-Ludwig match or the overtime between two undefeated wrestlers. Right here, he's got the arm behind the back right there, and he just sits back, drops down, 31 seconds into the overtime, two points. Ursuline, uh, points. I think that's the Tony coach Ballinger calling it, but the Arabia. referee uh, agreed. Fifth Let's place, go to the Tom awards, Hobel, 1A. Beyond Central Decatur. Fourth place, Matt Hoover, Bell Plain. Let's go to Dean Borg. Well, Doug Turner Ursuline of Humboldt was last year's defending champ. He was defending champion. He was at 171 pounds in double A. And there you see him again. He is the champion, but it wasn't easy. He was tied 4-4 at the end of regulation. He took an overtime, 31 seconds into overtime, scored a takedown, and defeated Richie Ludwig of Dyersville Beckman. And so Tony Ursuline repeats at 171 pounds double A. Dick? 
Being in AAA, you see here Ernest Middleton of West Waterloo as he put Chad Niles to his back with a minute and uh, 57 seconds. He was a champion tonight and a runner-up back in 1990, injured last year. Now back to you, Doug. Good win for West Waterloo. That's the quickest pin I think we've had in the final. Go to the awards at 171-18. Sixth place, Jason Barkley, Underwood. Fifth place, Corey Eldridge, State Center, West Marshall. Fourth place, Chad Trulson, Britt, West Hancock. Third place, Mike Silver, Central City. Runner-up, Todd Gray, Gilbertville, Don Bosco. And the 1A 171-pound champion from Marengo, Iowa Valley, Kirk Rethge. Kirk Rethge, champion. In a very flashy way. I, well, I won't say flashy, but very solid, workmanlike way. He was a good champion at 171 pounds from Marengo, Iowa Valley. Here come the two A's. Two A, 171 pound awards. Coach Ron Wasaba of Humble. Sixth place, Brian Arzani, Adel DeSoto. Fifth place, Robert Army, West Liberty. Fourth place, Chad Utley, New Hampton. Third place, Jason Salves, Clear Lake. Runner-up, Richie Ludwig, Dyersville Beckman. And the 2A 171-pound champion from Humboldt, Tony Ursland. Tony Ursland at 171. Coached by Ron Lasova. We still have one more class to go. 171, the award winners, the top six. From the original 16 in the pairings here. Presenting the 171 pound awards. Freshman coach, Waterloo West, Ernest Middleton. Sixth place, Jamie Miller, West Des Moines Valley. Fifth place, Josh Lathrop, Cedar Rapids Jefferson. Fourth place, Matt Farenkrug, Davenport West. Third place, Chad Rhodes, Newton. Runner up, Chad Niles, Charles City. And the Class 3A 171-pound champion from Waterloo West, Ernest Middleton. Out of the way, Ernest. He, he did it with lightning. He had a fast pin down in his championship. Deserves to try. Let's go to that Dick Trotter fellow down here and find